Welcome to Eddie's Football Waffle. Welcome. The AFCON tournament is nearly over. The semi-finals have just been done. I gotta say, one one semi-final was way better than the other. Uh, Mane's men, Senegal versus Burkina Faso. We ended 3-1 to Senegal. That was a football game. That was one where it was competitive. It was, you know, there was a favorite, there was an underdog, and both took their positions to try and win that game you know Senegal playing as more of the dominant team controlling a bit more of the game getting the one twos Mane popping up on the wings causing trouble that the likes of Kula Bali still looking great at his age um, just playmaker from the back looking like a great defender like I said he, he was playmaking doing Crossfield balls. That's this kind of thing he does where you could just stroke a nice 20 yard ball into the wing. He was doing all these kind of things. And it just makes me think of Maguire because apparently Man United pit Maguire over Kulabali. What the fuck? Yeah! Pit to fridge over someone who's still athletic and can play a high line, play make and tackle at his age. He, he could be winning this AFCON and uh, getting some gold under his belt unlike Maguire who is a runner-up at the Euros technical loser I can't believe that you know this is the situation Man United come on man I mean I, I love you guys but you're in the mud on that one couldn't believe that but getting back to the game Senegal were controlling the game Burkina Faso they, they tried their best as the underdog doing counter-attacks where they could getting getting the ball into Bertrand Traore uh, and then in the other action of the game I mean it was one it was one of those occasions where VAR was vindicated as an addition to the game the way the referee was just getting penalty decisions wrong in the uh, initial phase was just getting the decisions wrong but on three decisions VAR was was telling the ref to go and check it and just just this was done in the end he overturned two of the decisions so we got one right in the end if that's something but you know don't want to throw too much shit at the ref because he he had, he had to have you know the calm mind to overturn his decisions and you know take his pride away and say admit it was wrong and overturn the decision so that was good anyway in the end it had to be one of the best african players in this moment in this current climate it had to be Mane came through with uh, an assist the way he overpowered the defender for the second goal the ball the ball looked like it was going out he went and just power drived through him got the ball and just was calm passed it to his teammate got the ball in I mean it just Mane just shows his quality now the way he's you know balancing the strength with with finesse because that that last goal that he got the third goal where you know he could have just smacked it but he just went and dinked it just dinked it over the keeper 3-1 and yeah one of african football's best players is in the is rightfully in the final and speaking of one of the best african players to be in the final now salah meets him as egypt barely beat the hosts cameroon on penalties it was i mean I, I only watched the second half but the game was diabolical i don't know whether you know at half time maybe the first half was good and then the, the, the players left the lucas a they didn't even touch they didn't touch the lucas a at half time they left the batteries in the backpack they left they just left the gumption in <laughs> in in the showers what Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know what they, what they were doing. They left everything behind because both teams were shocking. I mean, I couldn't believe the football, the level of football I was watching for a top tournament, for professional football. The amount of long balls that were going nowhere. It was like Sunday league settings. <laughs> it, it, that might even be an insult to that game because I, I couldn't believe the amount of wayward balls. It was it was ridiculous. It was like it was like being in the ball pit at McDonald's. All the balls were going in all directions. There was no logic to what was going on both teams turning over a possession for the for the sake of it. it like i said the energy was dead and maybe that's down to the managers not making the the fresh selections for the team not getting the substitutions right because when the subs came on the game stayed dead i couldn't believe it no gears were being changed in their cars the car was coasting i couldn't believe the 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 lack of intent to try and win the game it seemed like both teams were happy to just play 
in a drab way to go eventually to penalties and for me it's it, to even try and bring up highlights the highlights were were Carlos Kiros getting angry on the sidelines because he thought one of his players was assaulted and wasn't rightfully protected and he, he got booked two times I've never seen a manager get a double booking like they're, that they're playing on the pitch now the guys are uh, suspended for the final you just got I mean come on as a, as a wise man he's got to know that him getting himself suspended maybe he thought his team was going to go out at that point because he was sent off with pretty much a quarter of the game to go I, I, didn't, I didn't know how it could be that bad for him to re react like that but for me, for me, that was the most exciting part of the game. He got sent to the stands, and even his assistant almost got sent off. He got a booking too, so it was just it was going mad on the sidelines. But yeah, when it eventually got to pens, it was maybe one of the worst showings from from the host side. Maybe the hosts, you know, they didn't use the the advantage of being the home team, using the the twelfth man in the crowd, using the the psychology that you are the team that is on homeland and should have the initiative and that should be using that energy and that inspiration to go for it. Maybe they just felt the pressure and just it, they just caved into their own shell because their penalty takers they, they, they looked inexperienced. The, the experienced players didn't really step up. I don't get what was happening there. Maybe they were too tired, but it just it just looked bad. I mean their final penalty the Cameroonians final penalty NG former Spurs player stepping up I just couldn't even hit the target that summarized how bad the game was Egypt stepping to the final and it's gonna be the two best African players versus each other and I want I wanted that that way anyway because I want to see who is gonna come out on top between Mane with Senegal and Salah with Egypt who is gonna be the king of Africa I mean Senegal surely have to break their hoodoo they have to break their voodoo break break whatever curse has stopped them winning the the competition that surely they've got to win it Egypt they've won it a couple of times even three times in a row how, how do you even do that with a professional competition but that just shows you a, a top top side just like the Real Madrid team that won the, the Champions League three times in a row so it's going to be a great final I'm definitely going to watch this one as well and yeah that's my waffle you know get in the comments to you know just talk about what what you think is going to happen uh click a like and subscribe if you're rating the material and catch you on the next one all right peace